I'm obsessed with playing who, who I am, where I've been, and where I'd like to go. Alternate obsession is photography. I'm obsessed with whatever it is that I do. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the history. It's about the foundation. Every time I sit down and perform uh, through this musical community it's called the drum set, I play my history. Where I've been, what I've learned, everything that I've experienced up to this point, right this minute, is what I'm performing. When I play these cymbals, names like Bob, Lenny, Pagnotti, Leon, all those guys were my guys. So all of that is in that symbol. That, for me, is what I remember when I, when I play. In essence, the history is in the artisan symbol. And it's the legacy of it all, you know, whether it's an HHX or an XYZ, it's still an artisan, no matter what. My alternate obsession is photography. Approximately about 1964, Somewhere in there, in 63, I got my first camera. It was a Yashica box camera. Uh, looked a lot like a Mamiya Flex, that kind of thing, but poor man's version of it, actually. It was something that uh, fascinated me. I was very curious. Capturing the image of what one sees is not unlike capturing the sonic image of what one plays. And so there's a tie-in. And you'll find that there are many musicians, one being Miles Davis, great painter. Another being Wayne Shorter, great painter. Wayne plays what he sees. I imagine in my mind's eye and translate what I, I view inside my mind through the drum set, through the cymbals, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a marriage that is quite natural. So therefore, when I'm taking pictures, I'm thinking very much about how that translates and how subconsciously I'm going to, to relate to that through my music. What's coming for me in the future is a visual summary of my life history through this stuff, since I couldn't begin to, to paint a vase if you wanted to, like perspectives just don't work. But on the other hand, I can see the shadows and see where the enhancements can be through here. And in this way, present my feelings sonically in the same way when I play through my instruments at the drum set. And that's my obsession. Well, I'm not so obsessed with one particular symbol as much as I'm obsessed with the sound of the musical community in which all of the symbols represent. I need to have them all connected to each other uh, sonically. By that I mean they must be in harmony. The whole objective is to learn how to, to, to summon the sound. Please come and join me now. That's what I'm obsessed with. It's how the cymbals and the drums and every aspect of, of the drum set community works together to create what I internally envision as my personality coming through. Every time I do something that sort of moves in the direction that surprises me, now I'm obsessed with trying to figure out why I did what I did and how I can make that a stronger conscious presentation.
it's a constant round robin, if you will, of like, wow, I didn't know that. Uh, okay, I need to fix that now, or I need to figure out how to control that. And next thing you know, it's an obsession.